every season there's new handbag trends and it bags and must have bags of the year but there are a few designer bags that really have stood the test of time and really make a lovely addition to a classic collection now you may or may not like these bags and possibly think some of them are a little bit passe but they are still very popular and now have become classics in their own right Hermes or Hermes, however you pronounce it, I'm never quite sure actually, is undoubtedly the ultimate in luxury accessories and the Birkin bag is a chic, iconic investment piece. It was introduced in the 1980s and the demand for the bags is still as strong today as ever, even with the very high price <coughs> This is probably my favourite bag on the list. Each one is hand sewn, buffed, painted and polished and it's that level of craftsmanship that is one of the reasons the bags are so expensive. If I was lucky enough to own one I don't think I'd ever use it because I'd be frightened I was going to damage it. It's a beautiful understated bag and it really does complement very simple outfits. In fact the simpler the outfit the better the bag looks I think. The Birkin bag is a true classic and I don't think it'll ever go out of style. First seen on the Spring Summer 2015 shows, the Chloe Faye bag has become a classic. It's 70s inspired with the circle clasp and the chain detailing and it still has a really high resale value. The grey and rose colour are my favourite colours. Paired with the neutral outfit in similar shades, the bags can look very beautiful. A black Chloe Fay bag also looks lovely, worn crossbody with neutral tones. And the classic tobacco Chloe Fay bag looks beautiful and it's a standout piece and makes a statement. The Louis Vuitton Everfall is a really familiar looking bag and it's one of those bags that you do tend to see around quite a lot. I also think it's a bag that you either love or you hate. Now I love Louis Vuitton full stop, it's my favourite designer from when I was very very young. I think it was the first designer that I ever heard of and I always thought it would be out of my reach. Sadly, I don't own the Neverfull. I've, I've got an Ellipse, which I absolutely love. It's a lovely bag, but the Neverfull is bigger and you can get a lot more in there. Worn right, I think the Neverfull can look gorgeous. This is a classic outfit and the bag looks terrific with it and very classy. I love it paired with Camel. It just works so well, but so do all the monogram bags, really. My opinion is, I think it still looks great. As well as being practical, it's a bag that would complement a wardrobe and a classic bag collection. Carrying on with Louis Vuitton, the Alma bag is another iconic design and it's one of the brand's most popular bags of all time, up there with the Speedy and the Neverfull. I don't think you tend to see the Alma bag out and about quite as much as, say, as the Neverfull and I think that makes it just a little bit more desirable in my opinion. Just like the Neverfall, it looks fabulous with camel. It also looks great, paired simply with blue jeans and a classic white t-shirt and a pink blazer. A navy blue blazer would look amazing too. I focused on the classic monogram print, but you can get them in other colours and prints too. The black leather looks particularly nice and very classic. I truly like the Alma bag and they retail new at £1,400 for the MM but second hand you can pick them up around half that price. I don't think a classic Chanel bag will ever go out of style. It's a really simple, understated statement piece. It was created by Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. It has the iconic chain in gold and silver tone metal, which is interlaced with leather. It's got the diamond signature stitching, a double flap and the CC clasp. The classic black bag just looks stunning with blue jeans and a white t-shirt. Just a very basic outfit made to look so chic with the Chanel bag. Or similarly with all black, it's just terrific. One of my favourite looks is this with a red Chanel bag. Camel and red are just gorgeous together and paired with black and Chanel flats, I just love it. Simplicity at its finest. Equally, a beautiful pink bag worn with all white and blush shoes and a coat works so well. The Balenciaga City bag became really popular in the early 2000s, noticeable by its really slouchy shape and the leather fringe hanging off the zipper. It's the perfect size for a purse, phone, lip balm, and perhaps that's why it will never go out of style. 
is still produced today and it's probably the brand's most iconic bag. The City Bag to me has a sort of a more casual feel to it and it seems to suit the more casual look better I think. That said, worn with tights, heels and a dress, it can still look good. It works with a classic outfit too and I love this outfit with the City Bag. While some people may have written off this bag, I think it can still look great. Prada Nylon Bag made a big comeback in 2020 and according to List it was the third most wanted bag at the end of last year. Now for me this is probably my least favourite of the bags I'm going to show you today. I just find it just a little bit plain and a little bit underwhelming actually. For a designer bag I just don't think there's anything very special about it. It's definitely a bag for cool trendy girls I think but if you are a more classic dresser like me, worn with a trench coat it can look stylish without being too trendy and with beautiful neutral colours the nylon bag can look quite stunning. A roundup of classic bags wouldn't be complete unless I included the Gucci flat bag. Now it made its debut in 2016 which isn't really that old in comparison to some of the bags that I've showed you today and it's one of their most popular bags in the Marmont clip. I personally don't think they're a very elegant looking bag but if I were to choose I think the smaller mini size looks nicer than the larger one but regardless of what I think they're popular and have become a classic bag. Sadly, I don't own any of the bags that I've mentioned today, but I'm sure some of you do. I'd love to know which ones you've got in your collection. So let me know in the comments box below. See you soon. Bye.